Okay, quick, the family is out of the house. It is time for a, a quick sculpting session in Adobe Medium using the Quest 2 uh, with a fancy little head strap thing and uh, no wires. So, uh, and I'm using virtual desktop. I'm not using the uh, wireless link, I think they're calling it, uh, update because it's still in beta and I felt it didn't work as well as virtual desktop did with this. So here we go. Double tap. Okay, there we go. Um, there is no way not to look like an absolute fool wearing a VR headset, I've decided, but I don't care. I just don't care. And uh, here we go. So starting out in medium, I usually uh, use the grab tool here and I find my little center. If it's not there, I guess I go up on my menu on my left side and go to the mirror mode and find the mirror center. I usually start and use the mirror mode to create whatever I'm gonna create. I pull down and I've got my scene graph here um, that I can arrange into place. That's the layer I'm working with. And I usually like to up the resolution on that a little bit by clicking on it, go increase resolution a couple of times. I'll get some clay, double tap this uh, lower button here to get my uh, clay sphere going. And then I will um, start with a gray circle. Now what can be made using this great gray circle? Well, usually being a cartoonist, I tend to gravitate toward characters. And so I will just start to pick out a shape using the elastic move tool. Maybe elongate this and make an uncommon, interesting, elongated uh, face of some kind. I'm going to increase the resolution a couple of times. You can see the resolution here. Um, I'm going to do it one more time, actually. So I can carve into it two eyeballs. And I'm, first, I'm going to flatten this shape a little bit and on the forehead as well. And I'll leave the chin sticking out a bit, maybe narrow that a bit. And then I'm going to carve using the clay tool, double tap, so I go into negative mode and place those about, I guess, do eyes generally fall? What if I put the eyes way down here and made a giant forehead, dude? Let's do that. So uh, yeah, that's a good start to a character. There, done. Uh, not really, uh, but I can go ahead and paint this Sometimes I don't paint my models if they're going to go out to a 3D print because things always end up looking so great uh, when they're painted. And um, it's kind of sad for me to see the 3D print coming out in just gray. I'm sure someday they will have full color 3D printers that will just be amazing. But right now we're not quite there yet. Like full color resin 3D printers would be really awesome somehow but we're not there yet um there we go and maybe i put a little bit of um green at the top I'm just subtly adding in some random pretty colors here and then i'm going to add a new layer and i'm going to do that by taking layer one and clicking on it and just going to duplicate this ensures i have the same resolution as the layer i was working with so i can move this out a little bit while i'm in uh scene graph mode if you use the grab tool it will move things around a bit uh, and since I'm in mirror mode, it kind of locks to that X, Y, but I take clay and I'm going to take a large brush, double click and just erase. Whoa, that is not what I meant to make. Uh, but I'm just going to go to single mode and erase, 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 erase that stuff. And then I'm going to go down, make that pretty small again and make eyeballs that are white. And I can zoom in to do that if I want to. And I'll go drop those in like so maybe a little bit more like so uh and then i'm going to duplicate that layer and i'm going to bring this out a bit and erase it clay double click erase uh double click to add mode and go to black and we'll try to put us ah come on out of there um and then we'll try to add some pupils here some big pupils maybe and i try to set it just i don't know if you can see how i'm doing this but um, I try to set it so the sphere is like an eyeball. It's just, it's large enough. The sphere is large enough. I sink it down and try and get it like right there. So those stick out a bit, but still kind of make sense. Uh, and then you can start tweaking things like pull down 
on your left hand and I'll get the scene graph up, click on my head layer, and then I'm gonna use the move tool and move these uh, bottom lids up a bit. And you can pull the trigger to kind of undo before you commit. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna turn off symmetry mode or mirror mode, and then just raise, maybe tweak one of these down a bit. You don't wanna be completely symmetrical all the time, do you? Life is not really fun if you do that. And then we're gonna add a nose. I'm gonna click the eyeball layer. I'm gonna duplicate it and bring this out. I'm gonna to go to clay mode, double click, and I'm gonna erase, boom and boom. Go back into symmetry mode, mirror mode, and I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna get a nice purpley nose-ish color, pink maybe. Everybody does this blue and pink. I tend to do this blue and pink all the time. I don't know why. It's just easy and it looks good. Um, so I'm gonna bop this in there, bop like that. And I'm gonna use the move tool to grab the very top of the shape and just pull it up like so. And I might even think that could be enlarged this nose. So we will just pull out the shape a little bit. I'm pulling down to go into uh, scene graph mode. And when you do that, you can sort of edit shapes. So I work in a lot of layers sometimes. Now let's get the bottom. I'm gonna pull this nose out a bit. And it's already, wow, he's very, very flat. That's okay, because it's an alien uh, with a large forehead. And I'm gonna modify his head a little bit, I think. I'm gonna squish it in here. No, that's that's odd. How about, how about, um, how about we bend it? And that seems to affect all of his eyes and everything else. So you've got to kind of watch it if you're using this move tool. If you're using the elastic move tool, it will bend everything. If you use the old move tool, it'll be, it'll be more um, local to that area, but not as the bends won't be as flexible. Um, so we might be able to, I might be able to do what I wanted to do with this tool. Just bend that in a bit. He might be a character that has two heads, I think. Uh, this character has another, actually a giant eyeball up here. <laughs> um, and I'm going to smooth out the edges of that. And then I'm going to pop in on the eyeball layer, a, another eyeball, a third eye, if you will. And we're going to go like this and go on that layer and do black and add in a big pupil in the center or a big ish down at you it could even you know just to not be boring turn off mirror mode and uh, we'll have it look up and to the left his left so this is looking <laughs> strange already um, still would make a good 3d print I think maybe for a little character of some kind I can pull this out and give him a little bit more of an eyelid And you see the difference in the um, the movement with this uh, tool that's, I have an itchy nose. Uh, if you double click and you see this mode, it's the, um, el it's the elastic mode versus the regular mode. Elastic mode will give you this, pulling everything out. Uh, the old mode in certain circumstances, now watch, it will pull out sort of a more of a localized area. And you get this more of a pronounced bump so each of them have their uses and that gives a little bit of an eyelid so i actually might do that over here too a little bit of an eyelid but yet move this up he looks a little worried or concerned okay and the eyeball the nose here rather i'm going to mirror mode this so it's the same on both sides and kind of pull this out could give him a great big honker um let's move that up a bit and then I'm going to color it a, a bit uh, with the paint tool. I like to use the sphere when I paint. Um, and we'll just darken the very end of his nose a little bit. And you could um, hit the underside of it with a little phony shadow, so a little darker color. And you get up under here and very subtly try to drop that in. This would look a lot better rendered out in a software like um, Oh, uh, Marmoset, something like that. Whatever the people are using these days. Blender even, honestly. 
Let me get that eyelid down a bit. I could smooth it out using the smooth tool. It's all looking a little strange to me, but that's okay. Uh, let's try and do a mouth. Um, I think down here, I will click on the head layer and in mirror mode, I will draw a mouth and we will make it in continuous mode. I usually have a steady stroke turned up a little bit and this should be pressure sensitive. So I could totally get in there and, but I'll just do a little mouth, a little one. And then uh, I'm going to use the clay tool. Actually, I can use the uh, inflate tool. Inflate that bottom lip a little bit. That's too much. So it's too strong. Strength at half. And um, smooth that out a bit. Now, the move tool can do an interesting thing. If you use the old move tool, you now have a pill shape which was introduced a while ago. So the pill I kind of use to grab a lower lip sometimes and bring it up. Now the geometry is going nuts here and I try to be, again, I'm not a traditional modeler. I don't know what I'm doing. This, this thing, maybe it would remesh well. Not sure, but let's let that go. It creates this weird little, it, it probably doesn't matter when you're doing this kind of ray marched, you know, modeling, but, um, but yeah. And another thing I like to do when, when I'm making something that's going to be rendered out eventually is just paint the inside of that mouth. So I can crawl all the way inside the mouth. You can make this thing absolutely huge and have it tower above you. Um, and I'll just go in with my dark paint and hit the inside. Whoa, that is not the paint tool. And yeah, okay. And now, whoop, right, okay. Make sure this is a little bit smaller. And just, if you don't want the uh, paint to leak out, actually, uh, true to the other side of your model, and you can avoid using the, you can just use the spray tool and it'll only get one side. So with this, I'm gonna go hardness, is there, opacity's all the way up. And I'm just gonna quickly get the inside of his mouth and I'll do these uh, soft edges later. Um, but yeah, it's, it's and I, I'm getting inside the character. Um, so that's, that's okay. And then I'll do a couple of teeth, maybe on the eye layer. I'll just grab the clay tool and this pill shape. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to duplicate that layer, bring this eyeball out a bit and delete it. Um, let's get rid of all that stuff. Turn off mirror mode and take a white tooth. You could have a gold tooth um, and go like that. That's a tooth. And then I'm going to um, flatten it with the flatten tool. That, and actually increase the resolution a little bit on that layer. Actions. And then flatten. Flip it over the other side and flatten. And, and that is a tooth, folks, <laughs> sort of. And I'm going to use elastic mode and kind of punch this up. That's a, is that a tooth? That's a tooth. I say it is. And then you smooth it out. And then you place it. Move. So go into scene mode. And then you can use the grip button on your right hand or left hand. And just position that in place and make a silly looking couple of teeth. Maybe that. And duplicate the layer. I've got something residual um, art on this layer. Look over there. Uh, like that, a couple of teeth. And I'm gonna hide, use my scene graph, move it over, hide my other layers temporarily. And there's probably, somebody's gonna chime in and say there's another way to do that. But uh, I'm gonna go and erase this guy here. Get out of here. And then go back, turn on my scene graph, and turn everything back on again. If I were good, I'd be naming my layers, but I'm not good. Uh, I'm going to do this, and then clay tool. And you can pick the same color down here. And I'll turn on mirror mode. And double click, and give him a big weird chin. I think, maybe. 
Why not? With the double pill shape. What would happen if I did that? Yes, that's... <laughs> that is really wrong looking. Um, I'm going to smooth this out. This weird butt thing on his face I just added. It's totally fine. We're working in cartoons. We can do whatever we want to do. Um, use the old move tool and a sphere. Move this out like that. Just be brutal about it and then smooth it later. Uh, there we go. It kind of worked, maybe. It looks really weird, but that's okay. He's kind of a alien Jay Leno type character. So we'll go like this, and I'm going to actually see if I can... Ooh, yeah, you see, you can get all kinds of weird variation, especially if you um, turn off active layer only when you're using that tool. You can... Uh, it will totally squish the whole model. You can get all these different looks out of it. So even... Um, I've done this in other videos, but I always find it fascinating. So up here, no nose, just a, um, I think just a little mouth, but a bigger one. And uh, I'm going to put rows of teeth in there as well, I think. And uh, I, what I can do is, whoa, I don't want to do that. Smooth. There we go. Um, and I even, I think I want to carve that mouth out even more. Make it have some depth and uh, smooth it out. We paint the inside of that if we want to now. Uh, do paint and I get in there. I'll turn off my mirror mode again. And I'm just going to do this character really quick and then get out of here because my time is limited and I don't have time to do everything the right way. And I'm mumbling a lot. And I'm tired, and I'm hungry, and uh, all those good things that happen to people. Um, ah, here we go. We'll use, our, use our subtle airbrush with its opacity turned down, and the hardness turned all the way down, and then get those edges. Like, I have so much respect for... 3D modelers who can sit and make amazing things in Blender in like minutes and it's no problem for them with character and all that. I just could never do it until Medium came along. And um, this allows me to just play and come up with models really easily. And now they're, they're all goofy models, but um, they're things that I feel like it's the closest thing for me for like it lets my mind wander in 3D. It's really, really fun. Really cool. Um, that lets me think up all kinds of things that I normally wouldn't have. Oh yeah, I kind of like blue tongue, actually. Let's do purple tongue. Um, but it's a lot of fun. And how useful is it? Hmm, I don't know. Let's do a Big tongue. All right. Um, yeah, and then you can move it a little bit. <laughs> and then maybe the bottom of it. Um, no, wait. Do active layer only. We'll do. It's moving the nose. I did those on the same layer. There's a way to separate those out, um, but I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm just going to work with what I've got and be a silly person. So there is a very disturbing, strange dude with a weird tongue. Um, I know that my brain is broken, folks. Don't don't write in the comments how how messed up I am because I already know. Uh, now here are the here's a tooth layer here. I think. If I move that around, yes, that's the one with the spear that I erased. This one, we're good. So with that one, I'm going to turn it into a stamp. And that should have given me a tooth stamp uh, in the same color and everything. So up here, I can, uh, I think I can just stamp that in. I'm going to do single mode. And um, 
can reposition this and just start stamping away. One, one tooth. Should that? <laughs> and I can hear my family has come home. I think our time here is done, ladies and gentlemen. I want to put this on the lathe. Um, yeah, it's easy. It's fun. I recommend you you pick up a copy of Medium. I think it's free on the Oculus Store. Um, it works really well, wireless. It's fun to sculpt like in bed and stuff at night. Um, so that's it for now. And uh, thanks for watching. And I will catch you next time. Bye bye.